Hello everyone. So, Affinity has changed, and changed a lot. It's a game-changing update, you've probably heard about it over the past few days. Yes, it's different, and that's a good thing. Now there's one clean dashboard where you can work across all three, Affinity Photo, Designer, and Publisher. But the question is, has it really changed that much? Well, I don't think so. If you've been an Affinity user for the past six or seven years like me, it doesn't feel completely new. For us older users, there's nothing to worry about. We don't have to start learning again, just adapt to a few new things. It might take an hour or two to uncover what's been modified or tucked away under new layers, but that's about it. The good news is, the new Affinity 3, or Affinity by Canva, looks clean, modern, and visually appealing. At first glance, it might feel different, or you might notice a few missing things, especially if you're used to the previous version of Affinity Photo. But overall, it's the same powerful tool, just refined, with a few features placed under additional options. I'll be releasing a detailed video on this new version soon, Affinity 3 or Affinity by Canva, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's get started with our first tutorial on Affinity 3. When you begin any design work, one of the most common tasks is removing a background. So in this video, we'll learn how to remove a background in the new Affinity 3. As always, start by selecting your image. Now, remember, Vector means Affinity Designer. Pixel means Affinity Photo. Layout means Affinity Publisher. And now, all three are part of one unified platform. You'll see a new interface with a simplified toolbar. At first, it looks like there's only one tool, but just left-click and hold to expand the full list. Now it should look familiar. We have Object Selection Tool. Selection Brush Tool, Flood Selection Tool. For background removal, we'll use the Object Selection Tool. This means we no longer need the old, time-consuming Selection Brush Tool. When you select the Object Selection Tool for the first time, it will ask you to download and install an extra model. Click Settings, and you'll see the first option, Segmentation, 290 megabytes. Turn it on and download it. The other models are available for premium users, but for removing a background, this first segmentation model is all you need. Wait for it to finish downloading, then close it. Now, left-click again and select the Selection Brush tool. Affinity's AI will analyze your image automatically and make the selection for you. Wait a few moments, it usually does a great job. Once the selection is done, click Refine to clean up the edges. You can keep the default settings, just make sure output is set to mask. Increase the brush size slightly and gently refine the edges. When you're done, click Apply. To save your image as a PNG. In the old version, you go to File Export. Now, just go to the top right corner and click Export PNG. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.